Hi everybody, it's Liam from I Am Handmade. I'm going to be making another soap. This one is Japanese Plum, which is by far and away my best seller. No doubt about it. Um, and people absolutely adore it because it's a, it's just a gorgeous fragrance. Very dark, um, perfumey, oh, I don't know, mysterious, kind of oriental. Just really good. So I have my Wells Butters and Fragrance Oil. And this is my milk mix. Just pour it up to make sure it's all mixed in fully. No lumps. Now this fragrance oil does this colour, um, kind of a brown colour, uh, and I kind of go with it. Um, it. I put white in to a portion of it, and uh, it ends up like a sort of an antique cream, which is fine. Kind of goes with the fragrance, to be honest. And uh, like I said, people like it. <laughs> Glasses on. <sighs> Sorry for the sniffles, but you wouldn't you would not believe how hot it is in here. It's like the middle of summer, honestly. Got the heating going, the oven, which I'm standing beside in this position. <sighs> like the heaty. I would decide to show my face, which I don't really like doing. I'm very shy. I'd be a very big red face at the moment, I'm telling you that. into two. Excuse me. I actually seriously haven't wiped my face now. Standing beside an oven when you're soaping probably is the best idea. But needs must and all that, as we soapers know. Okay, uh, as I normally do, this is going to be coloured with white and a plum colour. Given it's Japanese plum, it sounds kind of appropriate. see that the batter has turned quite a yellow colour and I think you can always tell if your fragrance oil is going to discolour from that. It's 
usually your first clue. If you don't have any other clues, that's your first one. Which, of course, you may say is a bit too late. And you may very well be correct. You know, when I made this first, uh, what was I doing? I did a plummy colour. I've always done a plummy colour, which I really like. But I put it with a blue for some reason. I don't know why. Why is it blue some plum? I don't know. Anyway, it sounded like a good idea at the time. And of course, in a yellow base, blue is going to turn green. And the green went like a khaki colour, like army fatigues. Which I've got to tell you is not my favourite colour in the world. And I was not impressed. So much so, I wanted to chuck it in the bin and I had a bit of a hissy attack about it. Thicker and it feels kind of thick. Eek. Spatula. Wait, how? Deal. It feels like it's getting thick on me. And you can see there, even with quite a bit of white, it's actually a cream colour. So it'll be very much a very antique cream when it's done. Okay, that's that and I'll give it a proper stir afterwards too. And then this, which I absolutely want to be sure is the right colour. Just telling everybody on the camera how she was going in YouTube land. Wow, she got to meet Steven Spielberg. Wow, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty cool. So, is she hyper? Yeah, a bit. I'd say so. I'm not surprised. Okay, I'll take you over here. Um, I think I might have over blended this a bit much, but it does move quickly so sadly I don't <laughs> not very well anyway okay now I'm definitely gonna have to give this a nice old stir because we've got some bubbles in there as well which I do not want in my final soap I do not 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 want so 
Sorry, my camera just shut off there. Fortune was close enough to hear it. I'm not getting my big ugly mug in the picture. So you heard there. Teach obviously got to meet Daniel Day Lewis and got his autograph and Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg, sorry. Which is pretty incredible. Is that half? No, a bit more to go. Probably can pour it at this stage. spatula to tidy up as soon as I have a spare one I'm gonna give these all a wash and I'll stick them in the dishwasher to be absolutely sure they're clean Obviously I want to keep some for the top too. It's a very dramatic scent actually. I think it's quite oriental. But uh, I'm in the middle of doing all my spring summer stuff um, and <coughs> restocks, but this this sells any time of the year. Um, in fact, it reminds me of Titch, rate me and Titch, I should say, of a holiday we had about two years ago. Because I made body butter out of this with the two of us. And uh, so the fragrance just always reminds us of that. One more down here. And in the middle. And. There. Um, people always ask me how does my battery stay so well behaved to allow me to do stuff. Um, I soak very cool. I use full water. Um, I use generally speaking fragrances that behave themselves. Always the exception, of course, as we all know. So it is hanger swirl day today, obviously. So you go in at the edge of your mould, push it down slowly, move across, pull it out slowly, move across, push it down slowly, move across, 
very small amount. Pull it up slowly. Try and keep it as straight as you can. And the mix and the mould. Control it the best way you possibly can. Not always possible, I am aware. I'm completely aware. <laughs> final one, pull it out. So, key is keep it controlled, work slowly, move across, up and down, keep it a controlled rhythm, try and keep it in the same distance between each line. Not always possible, but try. Okay. Right. So Actually, before I finish this. Just in case that um, movement created any more air bubbles, you don't want them. Keep dipping the spoons, the spatulas, into the spout of the jug. It gets all over the handle then, which is really silly. So I guess there must be vanilla in this, in fact I think there is. If I try and remember the fragrance, there must be. Um, but it doesn't smell like vanilla at all. But I never managed to get this white white. It's always been a dark cream. Because of the... Because the fragrance oil turning yellow. Um, and I dread to think exactly how much TD I'd have to add to make it white. More than I'd want to, I'd say. Okay. God, I have so much washing up to do now. And again, with the handle. And yes, I know, if I wore gloves, I'd avoid those, but I don't like the feel of them. And it's my personal choice, and it's my skin. And I don't advise the people to do it, and if you're a new person, take all the safety precautions you possibly can. I do wear glasses. Whatever, if I do get a lie burn on my hand or something, I ain't ever going to be as painful or as serious as a lie burn on my eye, which is very serious and I am quite sure very painful. Okay. Sorry. 
wasn't taping her for the looks of it. Hi Malky. A little bit of purple glitter. How was your pork? And we have a champagne glitter here. Champagne nice. There we have Japanese plum. Uh, hope you like it. Sorry about the rubbishy video. I'm terrible at doing them by myself. Anyway, bye!